The Trigger Spoon Junior, big enough to draw strikes from trophy trout, small enough to round up a limit of pan-sized fryers, and the perfect spoon to put on the end of your line when the trolling gets tough. Pick up your kit at Trigger Spoon Juniors today at fishhuntshoot.com. There you go, that's what you want. See that nice straight rotation on that bait? That is a killer. It's a killer on kings, that's a killer on big trout. Hey guys, Cal Kellogg here. I got a viewer question today. I can't remember the fellow's name, but basically he would picked up a kit of my crippled minnow spoons. This is actually a prototype. This is the first one I ever ran. It looks a little bit different than the ones that I'm offering up in the kits. But the, the crippled minnow, it's a, it's a very unique spoon. It's a rolling spoon. And because it rolls, every kit of crippled minnows comes with a rudder. And he wanted to know, how do you rig the rudder? How do you rig the rudder and the crippled minnow spoon. And the fact is, rudders are very useful whether you're using a crippled minnow, you're rolling shad or worms or whatever, and the rigging is the same. So let me set this spoon down, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to rig up with a rudder. Okay, I'm back and uh, I'm gonna show you how to, how to integrate this rudder into your trolling rig, but uh, let's take a quick look at the trolling rig. It's one of my Kel Kellogg Signature Series downrigger rods, and uh, I just want to show you how it's rigged up for trolling in general. Kind of got some wraps around the rod here. Uh, before I get into how to use the rudder. Now, you know, I, I kind of do the, the whole Lego concept of fishing where everything is the same and it just all snaps together, and that's the case here. Um, main line right here. I thread my main line through a bead right there. And then I put on one of those bead chain trolling swivels and it is tipped with a snap. That's how I tip the main line from the rod. Attached to that snap is my standard trolling leader. This is where I would troll anything from a mag lip to a trigger spoon, trigger spoon, junior speed spoon, doesn't matter. About 40 inches of eight pound fluorocarbon tipped with a little cross lock snap just like that. So I attach the lure there. Um, I'm limiting line twists greatly with that bead chain trolling swivel, but if I'm trolling something that I really think is going to roll, maybe it's a rigged bait fish, maybe it's a crippled minnow spoon, something like that, here's what I'm going to do. In the junction between the bead chain swivel and the leader, I'm just going to snap this leader off, just like that. I'm going to take my, my, uh, my rudder. And my rudders, they come equipped with a bead chain swivel off the back side. That is the lure side. If you see that bead chain on there, you know that is the lure side. On the other side, it's just got a standard snap swivel. So what you're gonna do is attach, kinda clumsy here and the sunlight is not the best, but let me grab a hold of this. I got like half sun and half shade. And I'm old and half blind, so you know that's never a good combination. So there, I've got the rudder attached like that to my main lines coming in. Main lines coming in right there. I've got it attached to the rudder. Now I'm going to take that that bead chain trolling swivel that's attached to the rudder on the back end, pop it open there, grab my leader. All my leaders are tipped with a loop, so easy on, easy off. Put it in there. Put that on there. Take that crippled minnow, put it on that cross lock snap, and you are ready to roll, you are ready to troll, and you are not gonna be bothered by line twist. Any twist that's, uh, let me get a little further from the camera here, any twist that is being transmitted from here, over here, up that leader towards your main line, well that, that rudder in the water, it's just gonna stop that rotation. All the rotation's gonna occur right here on that bead chain on the back end of the rudder and uh, you aren't going to get any twist in your main line and as you know <laughs> twist drives me crazy twist is the enemy so i've spent a lot of time thinking through how to not get twist transmitted from whatever i'm pulling in terms of a lure 
up into my main line because once you get twisting your main line, it can cause all kinds of bad stuff to happen. And you know, when bad stuff happens, typically happens at the very worst moment. So you don't want twist. I'm constantly fighting war against twist. So anyway, that's your basic setup. That's your basic trolling leader. That's my basic setup. It works well. It's modular. Um, you know, and don't be afraid to run that rudder. Not only does it eliminate line twist, they also attract fish. They got a certain amount of flash. They, they put out a certain amount of vibration as they go through the water. And you know, the trout, the salmon, they're curious. And I'm convinced a lot of times they come in, check out that rudder and just grab your lure. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that explains how to use the rudder to eliminate twist, no matter what you're trolling. I'm signing off for now. If you're looking for gear, you know where to go fishhuntshoot.com. You'll see my lead core rods, downrigger rods, spinning rods, and a whole lot more. I'm Kel Kellogg. I want to thank you guys for all the support. I will see you next time right here on YouTube. You stay healthy, happy, and uh, have a great day.